I think we're beginning to see the return of organic growth. After a year in which jubilees and Olympics determined what was happening to the British economy, for the first time I think businesses can see a period ahead in which they have a little bit more optimism. Nothing to write home about, it's going to be slow and cautious, but a bit better. If the CBI forecast is right, and if none of the storm clouds, which has knocked us off in the past, come back, then we'll move from a position of no growth in 2012 to 1% growth in 2013 and potentially 2% growth in 2014. Now, five years on from a crash, that won't be anything to write home about. But the reality is it's movement in the right direction for the first time in a while. Confidence is key here. It's confidence that's lacking in the business community to invest and in the consumer to spend. And we can't turn on confidence like a tap. You have to gradually change sentiment. And that's what I'm beginning to see in my forecast today. But the risks are that the Eurozone goes backwards, that the Americans fail to resolve the fiscal cliff, things that will damage confidence globally and Britain as a trading nation so vulnerable to the changes in global economic sentiment. Government can't create growth, business creates growth when it has confidence. What can government do? Well, the best thing it can do is invest in the infrastructure of the country, invest in roads, rail, housing in particular, because that can be done in the shorter term, invest in science, innovation, education and skills. And what I'm saying to the government at the moment is, as well as doing the really long-term things like High Speed 2 that will make a difference to the next generation, do some things that will make a difference in the next year, like housing, like filling potholes in winter roads. These initiatives should be prioritised.